hello students how are you in the previous video we have seen the answers for the refresher course module for the first eight lessons so in this video we are going to see the answers after the eighth lesson first one the ninth unit name is healthy and unhealthy food the first question is name four healthy food items name four healthy food items so you know you can write four healthy food item items i am giving you the answers fish vegetables eggs fruits these are the four healthy foods next the second question name the unhealthy food items list the healthy food items which can be uh, replaced instead of the unhealthy food items so for that i have prepared the answer c instead of vanaspathi we can use ghee instead of broiler chicken we can use chicken coop instead of cool drinks we can drink uh, fruit juice instead of sugar we can use palm sugar so answer for the third question name the food items which have excess salt the food items like puppet pickles or have excess salt so pickles waffle embryo and soups all the bakery items will have excess salt okay <coughs> next one is name few healthy snacks uh, peanut candy almond nuts fruit salad or the healthy snacks and the fifth question what are the evils of eating preservatives added food items so it causes lot of harmfulness causes obesity and leads to kidney failure may cause cancer and heart disease next sixth one is observe the picture given below and circle the healthy food items so the that we can circle i have shown you these are all the healthy food items apple carrot banana fish fruit juice and fruit these are all the healthy food the seventh question observe the picture given below and identify the identify and write the names of healthy food items in each row from the first row banana is a healthy food broccoli is a healthy food second row fish fruit salad rice or healthy food third row egg is a healthy food the fourth row fruit salad is the healthy fruit healthy food and in the last column last row oil and water are the healthy food so up to this we have completed ninth lesson shall we move on to the 10th lesson nutrients so give to example of food items for the nutrients given below that is the question the first nutrient listed is carbohydrate second one is protein so carbohydrate is rich in rice and grains second one is protein rich in egg and almond third one is fat dark chocolate and ghee fourth one is vitamins carrots and pepper fifth one is minerals cereals and meat these are the example for healthy food items and the second question they asked find out the odd one out 
from the first row third one is odd one out since first row consists of carbohydrate the pepper is given in the first row it is odd one and from the second row second one is odd one protein rich food has been given at the center they have given food rich in fat then match the following carbohydrate carbohydrate the answer is ragi and corn protein the answer is urindal and red dal for fats the answer is ghee and meat and for vitamin the answer is carrot and papaya fourth one list down the milk products and write the nutrients i have listed few milk calcium protein ghee fat cheese fat and calcium the 11th unit is methods of cooking then methods of cooking first one is mash so egg is prepared how the egg is cooked steamed second one is idiyappam it is steam boiled so steaming in water vapor vada vada is frying deep frying groundnut groundnut is roasted and steam steamed pulse it is pressure cooked so these are the answers next we need to see list the food items prepared by the cooking method given below i have listed the food for the cooking methods given below um, pressure cooked cereals and meat roasting groundnut and peas steaming egg and dal frying fish and french fries steaming in water vapor idli and idiyappam these are the example for the second one so next we need to move to 12th lesson spoilage of food so they have asked you question and answer in this section let's see the answer the first question if you have a plan for a four day trip what kind of food will you prepare why i will prepare lemon rice tamarind rice and chapatis because this food items took long time to decompose and they can't decompose easily the second question does the rate of spoilage of food remains the same during all seasons why no it doesn't because changes in food depends upon the temperature and heat the rate of food poisoning increase in summer months because bacteria grow faster in warmer weather third question if a food is spoiled what will you do if a food is spoiled i would throw it in the dustbin fourth question what are the steps will you take to reduce wastage of food drying addition of salt addition of sugar freezing boiling canning and bottling addition of chemical preservation that is the last one it is not a preferable one also and fifth one what are the disease diseases caused by spoiled food stomach pain fever dysentery vomiting indigestion or the diseases 
list the factors that causes spoilage of food air and oxygen moisture enzymes microorganisms light and temperature are the causes next we need to move to the 13th lesson in the 13th lesson it is water pollution and water borne diseases in that they have asked four questions fifth one is match the first question list the important source of water pollution the major source of water pollution are industrial waste sewage domestic waste chemical fertilizers and insecticides synthetic detergents oil spill the second question what are the chemicals present in the industrial waste water discharged from industries arsenic lead mercury cadmium or the name of the chemicals give the expansion for ddt ddt is dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane repeat dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane the fourth question list few ways for preservation of water pollution excess use of fertilizers and pesticides should be avoided in agricultural land use of synthetic detergent should be minimized or biodegradable detergents should be used trees and shrubs should be planted along the banks of the river along the banks of the river and plastic waste food materials and vegetables should not be thrown into the open drain proper sewage treatment and management should be implemented then answer for the match so see the answers for the match they have given the name of the diseases and causing agents they have given hepatitis a caused by hepatitis virus cholera is caused by vibrio cholerae diarrhea is caused by e coli thyroid is caused by salmonella sorry typhoid is caused by salmonella hepatitis e is caused by hepatitis e dysentery is caused by shigella next we need to see the 14th lesson 14th lesson is photosynthesis in this lesson the first one is fill in the blanks they have given a picture by seeing that picture we have to fill the blanks first question plants receive dash from sunlight plants receive light from sunlight plants obtain carbon dioxide from air they obtain carbon dioxide from air plants obtain dash from soil they obtain water from soil plants release dash during photosynthesis they release oxygen during photosynthesis next again the photosynthesis picture has been given we have to fill up the column first one is solar energy what it is taking in during photosynthesis carbon dioxide it releases o2 during photosynthesis and water is taken 
so these are all the important factors that took part in photosynthesis process next question third one is leaves and stems of plants receive their green color from they receive their green color from chlorophyll name of a pigment why plants are essential for organisms living on earth they inhale carbon dioxide and gives oxygen for us so that plants are very much important the three things which are necessary for photosynthesis to take place in plants are water carbon dioxide and sunlight so option c for question number 4 option a for question number 5 next we have to see the 15th lesson dispersal of seed what are the ways the seed has been dispersed that is the lesson so the first step they have given the evaluation two types let's see the answer for the first one zugori zugori means the disposal of seed through animals so this is the first one ornithogory ornithogory means disposal of seed through birds ornithology study of birds no so ornithogory is disposal of seed through birds autogory auto means by itself so self dispersal method hydrogory hydro means water disposal of seed through water animogory disposal of seed through air next we have to see the examples for these gories seed dispersal example for zugori is indian needle ornithogory is tomato autogory is balsam hydrogory is drumstick maybe coconut animogory is lotus next we need to see honey bees honey bees interesting lesson too the bee which helps in maintaining the temperature of the bee hive is worker bee option b complete the table um, types of honey bees life span number of bees in bee hive has been given queen bee it will live for 3 to 4 years and only one queen bee will be there for a bee hive next one is drone 57 days the life span is 57 days the number of uh, drones in the bee hive is 1000 to 10000 1000 to 10000 number of drones will be there worker bees 6 weeks their life span is 6 weeks and the number will be 50000 to 60000 50000 to 60000 i hope you understand the answers which bee cannot be reproduce so the worker bee cannot reproduce the answer is worker bee what are the ways honey is used in medicines fifth one list the uses of bee wax i will tell you the answer Sixth question: Eating honey can cause cold. True or false? It is a false statement. It will cure cold. Find the one which is not related to worker bee laying eggs. You just collect honey. That is its duty. Collecting honey, building the nest, protecting the hive is its duty. It will not lay egg. 
let's see the answer for the uh, fourth and fifth question now what are the ways honey is used in medicines honey has antiseptic and antibacterial property it is an antibiotic it helps in building up hemoglobin content in blood it is used in ayurvedic and unani uh, system of medicines it prevents cough cold fever and relieve uh, and relieves sore throat it enhances digestion and appetite it provides essential amino acids required for the growth of the body fifth question list the uses of bee wax it is widely used in cosmetic industries it is used in the preparation of shoe patch and manufacture of uh, cold creams lipsticks candles and lubricants it is used in the preparation of ointment and in pharmaceutical industry next we need to see the next lesson 17th lesson your 17th lesson is classification of animals based on their food habits so this is the first thing we need to answer first one is let's see about herbivores food example and type of teeth okay herbivores the food is plant vegetarian plant vegetations example is cow goat rabbit types of teeth is chisel like incisor large flat premolar and molar canines next one is carnivores the carnivores food is meat example lion tiger and wolf type of teeth is upper premolar uh, lower premolar carnassial uh, tear incisor third one is omnivorous the food they intake is meat and vegetations example bear dog pig human carnassial teeth and incisors next we need to see match the animals with their food so that we need to match so what are the carnivores i will write c for carnivores o for omnivores h for herbivores so a lion is a carnivores a wolf is a carnivores crocodile is a carnivores tiger is a carnivores bear is omnivores o cow is herbivores giraffe is herbivores pig is omnivores the zebra is herbivores monkey is omnivores next we need to uh, choose the best answer the work of incisor the work of incisor teeth is to cut food uh, circle the odd one crow it is omnivores identify the omnivores from the following so dog bear man hen squirrel and these are all the omnivores so where hen is here it is the hen hen squirrel these are all the omnivores carnivores mostly use canine teeth true or false it is a true statement next we need to see the next lesson the 18th lesson is mammals birds and insects the first question is name the mammals which fly so the uh, mammal which is able to fly is bat name the mammal which swims it is a whale name few flightless birds you know the flightless birds no 
kiwi, penguin, emu, ostrich. I will write the spelling. Kiwi. Otherwise, let's see. Kiwi, penguin, emu, and ostrich are flightless birds. In this picture, they want to mark, identify, and circle the leaf insects in the picture given below. They look similar to the uh, leaf, so it is difficult for us to identify it. So here I marked for the three pictures. Next, the third question, sorry, fifth question. Classify the following as mammal, birds, and insects, animals. So I have classified into uh, red as mammals, birds in green and insects in blue. So you can see the answer. Overall answer I have shown you. Red mammal. Green color is birds. Blue color is insects. Next we need to see 19th lesson endangered species they ask you three questions let let us see the answers for the three questions the first question why animals are hunted animals are hunted for their horns skin teeth and many other valuable products the second question what are the causes of endangered animals forest which provide food and shelter to animals are destroyed for human needs animals are launched for uh, sorry hunted for many valuable products air pollution and water pollution affect them Sometimes animals are taken to new habitats by people. They can't survive there. Pesticides and chemicals poison the plants and animals which are in forest. Natural disasters like flood, cyclone and fire also destroy animals. The third question explain the relation between environmental pollution and endangered animals. For that, we can repeat the points from the second question. The points are third, fourth and fifth. These points can be, uh, sorry, third, fifth and sixth. These three points can be repeated for the third question. Also, you can add one more point. The point is climate change and pollution continue to rise as threats with severe weather. Uh, changing ecosystem and rising temperature responsible for animal extinction next we need to see the 20th lesson final lesson 20th lesson is airborne diseases the first question is what is the name of the disease caused by body uh, body teller? Pertussis bacteria that is moving cold. This is the answer. Next one is which of the following is a uh, causative agent of airborne disease, bacteria, virus, and fungi? All the all the microbes will be transferred from air fill in the blanks so we have to fill the blanks given below let's see the first one name of the disease is diphtheria the causing agent is this one cornibacterium diphtheriae mode of transport they have given the part of the body that affect is throat the second one is name of the disease is influenza. Third one is mumps. 
the causing agent is a mixovirus it is transferred by droplet infection direct contact with infected person common cold is caused by rhinovirus the affected area is upper transpa uh, transpiratory tract sorry respiratory tract next one the disease name is tuberculosis it is spread by droplet infection from spectrum of infected person infected area is lungs the last one is droplet infection direct contact with infected person the affected area is respiratory tract next find the odd one out a is the odd one out and for the fifth one c is the answer respiratory system is the answer up to this we have finished the answers for the refresher course module I wish you all the best. God bless you.